A recent pair of papers in the journal Antiquity reveals that West African DNA has been found in 7th century England. Now this factoid was released in the press several years ago, but now that the publication has finally come out, it is official. Now the two cemeteries in question, Upton spelled Updown, which sounds more than a little oxymoronic, and Worth Matraverse, are found down the coast of southern England, about 250 kilometers or 160 miles from one another. The Upton Cemetery near Eastrian Kent was excavated back in the 70s and 80s. It's got 78 burials dripping with Anglo-Saxon swagger. Think swords and other weaponry, fancy buckles, pottery, basically enough bling to make an Anglo-Saxon rap star jealous. The Kingdom of Kent was known as a multicultural place with a lot of Frankish and other material from mainland Europe, and this place is located near Fingalsham, which was a royal center, so these are some pretty fancy graves. Meanwhile, Worth Matraverse, a smaller site with just 21 graves, was dug up in 2011. It's more austere of the two, with no grave goods other than a stone anchor pillow. Eat that, my pillow guy. Both sites are screaming 7th century vibes, but the DNA from these two burials is what's got everyone buzzing. So how did we get to this bombshell? That's right, ancient DNA. The researchers, led by Professor Duncan Sayer from the University of Central Lancashire for Upton and Dr. Churdwin J. Edwards from the University of Huddersfield for Worth Matraverse, extracted DNA from petrous bones, which are basically just on the side of the skull. They sequenced the genomes, focusing both on mitochondrial DNA, that's from the mom's side, and autosomal DNA from both sides. The results? Well, not surprisingly, both of these people were predominantly Northern European. Yawn, that's pretty traditional of that time. However, they found a 20 to 40% genetic affinity for modern Yoruba, Mende, Mandenka, and Isan groups from West Africa. And sorry if my pronunciation is off on any of those. And further statistical wizardry suggests these two people's paternal grandparents were likely from the Southern Sahel in Africa, migrating to Europe between the mid 500s and early 600s. Mind blown.